Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining me. I had a comment recently and it said, you haven't been telling us lately about all the stuff you don't like. And I thought, you know, you're right. I just I haven't been working that in. So I thought I would work it into the content today. I'm going to do a top five, bottom five. Um, I did this series I, pretty consistently not all that long ago and I would feature different brands and I would give you like top five, bottom five. And right now I'm thinking I'm just going to focus on kind of new to me drugstore store makeup I've been using lately and give you my top five and bottom five of what that all is. So my top five has three makeup items in it and also a couple of things that are non-makeup related. I'll start there. This Tree Hut Scrub in the Peach Sorbet scent. Whoa, whoa. I think I have a new total favorite. This is it's so good. If you like peach, it's amazing. Um, if you've never tried one of these Tree Hut scrubs, they are dense. They are a dense sugar scrub, so you get a little bit out there and you're going to be really getting a great exfoliating action on your arms, your legs. But the smell is just like intense. Like it just cuts through. I like this one about as much, if not more, maybe than the pineapple one, which also just has one of those sweet as can be scents. I love this so much. I would highly recommend checking it out if you're a fan of peach. I think you will just love it. And it's cute too. If you got them out or stacked up or something like that, I like it. Another non-makeup thing that was recommended to me through my comments section is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. Okay, so we've all experienced the CeraVe Cream. I kind of feel like I upgraded from the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream to Vanny Cream. If you're wanting like a cream that maybe you would put on your face, on dry patches, you can use that on your body as well. It's really good for dry skin, and if you're also having a sensitive skin moment, it just covers all that. But I was having like really dry skin on my feet and, you know, knees and elbows kind of experiencing that as well. And I feel like for those isolated spots on your body that are feeling really dry, this healing ointment, it just is an ointment, guys. Like it, you squeeze it out, it's clear. It says non-greasy feel, but you know, it's a little bit greasy. It says protects and soothes dry, cracked, and chafed skin. And it's a skin in protectant with ceramides and it is accepted by the National Eczema Foundation. After I used this on some dryness on my feet it helped a lot. I was just sitting there in the evening watching West Wing and I got it all over my feet and anywhere else I was dry on my legs, on my arms, on my fingers around my cuticles and it did a really good job for me. So I would like to thank whoever it was who recommended this. I think there may have been multiple people. It's good stuff and let me know in the comments section if there are other ways you like to use this but for me so far it's been most beneficial for those isolated like body areas that need some moisturization and in the summertime it's like we always think dryness in the winter but I swear summertime you're out walking around with bare feet and you're getting in the pool and you're doing different things you can get so dry so this has been really great. Several makeup things now. This new infallible blush from L'Oreal. I finally got my hands on it. I ordered it through Amazon. I did not trust Ulta to send it. I got the shade Confident Pink and I know I used it in a recent video, but it is a matte, full-bodied, full-color blush. It's an intense pink blush. It's a very pure, true pink. Um, it's not like as cool as they come. Actually, I'd say it's got a little bit of warmth in it, but Confident Pink is a good name for it because it doesn't take a lot and you get a really big impact on the cheeks. I use my e.l.f. blush brush and I just kind of agitate it in there like I'm not really even swiping it. I'm just kind of like shifting it in there from side to side and then popping my blush on. And yeah, I feel like it looks pretty intense as soon as it goes on, but I like it. I really like the tone. I'm a fan of going there with my blush, as you guys know, so I enjoy something with some impact. And this does have really good staying power. That's kind of a key point with it. You can see how it looks within the finish look. I think it's kind of worked into things once you see the eye and the lip complete and you see a little highlighter on there. I'm wearing Benefit Cookie highlighter on top and I just think it's absolutely lovely. So good pigment, color payoff, um, easy application, great staying power. It's kind of checking my boxes here so I would definitely recommend that Confident Pink shade. I would love to see those other shades and figure out if I'd like to try them also but Confident Pink is definitely a thumbs up for me. Here's another thing that I like to wear just early on or somewhere in my makeup routine as I'm doing it kind of as a treatment to my lips and it's so darn cute. It's from Hard Candy and it's their new Glossotopia Lip Repair Oil. So this really feels more 
like a treatment than something you're gonna throw on and be like, oh, well, look at this color on my lips. Not a real colorful thing, but it has a little bit of a richness, but it's not sticky at all. So I put it on, it's got a nice little applicator here. It's kind of one of those little curved back doe foots. It holds a nice amount on there, but not an overwhelming amount. The smell is kind of like a berry, really rich berry smell. I think I said berry jam at one point when I mentioned this. And, you know, it might tint your lips just the slightest bit, but not much. You know, I really want some color on my lips, so this isn't necessarily going to satisfy for wearing out and about, but I love using it as I'm sitting here doing the rest of my makeup, and I've got that softening happening on my lips. I really think that's a beautiful product. And it came in a bunch of different colors. You know, you're getting a little color on the ball here, and the appearance of a color in the tube, but again, I think it's a very sheer lip product. I went for probably the dark darkest looking one and as you could see a lot of my natural lip colors showing through on this but I do love the product and I love the way it makes my lips feel and then when I go on to put my lip color on I do wipe that away I mean you wouldn't have to I guess you could have a little remnant there and then go on with some kind of full colored lipstick but I wipe it away you know it's done its job my lips are still very softened after I take it off and like today I put on this Lottie London cheeky kiss the shade is just my type and then I was like ooh, you know I want to brighten it up even more this is a nice kind of soft soft pink, so I put on some Maybelline Superstay in the shade Treat Yourself, and that's given me the bright pink. This just gave me a little shimmer underneath. Final thing in my top five is another hard candy thing, and I'm pretty sure this got mentioned back in one of my hard candy, like, full brand videos, but I've been using it a lot lately, and it's one of their shadow sticks, and the shade is called Pony. This is very similar to the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Amethyst, so if you're a fan of that, I think you'll like this. We've got kind of a murky soft plum mixed with taupe is kind of the way I describe it. It's a beautiful shade. It's really pretty drawn all over your eyes. Actually another thing I was thinking um, I saw on TikTok an ad came up for Thrive and they have shadow sticks as well that they're really trying to promote and I saw a girl with like greenish blue eyes put on a shadow stick that I know was kind of similar to this and her eyes just popped so much and I thought oh that reminds me of Pony as well but you can put it all over your lids. It will set for long wear it definitely will you can trust this one but the way I like to wear it I'm wearing that um, Tarte Big Ego palette on the upper part of my eye and I think this just absolutely thrives as lower liner so smudgy lower liner that soft shade you can see in the application the difference one eye wearing it one eye not wearing it like it really gives a nice little softness to the eye and it's hard to put your finger on it it looks like you've smudged out shadow on your lower lash line but this is actually going to last okay you don't have to go over it smudging it out because the line is already nicely thick i'm majorly enjoying that and you don't have to really be wearing any kind of special like certain colored eyeshadow look I think to make that go because see how just kind of soft and murky it looks I think that can work alongside just about anything so it's the eye def eyeshadow marker they call it and the shade is pony recommend that oh but we do have that bottom five to discuss and the first thing I'm going to mention this is hard candy so hard candy you know sometimes I act like it can do no wrong but I, I do run into a thing every now and then I was in Walmart and I thought oh I want to try one of those those face off blush shades that I haven't used yet. I love the shades Born Yesterday and there's another color I think it's called Who Is She? It's kind of a rosy color. Those are amazing. Those can do no wrong. But the shade called Pop Star. Um, one of these things is not like the others. This has glitter in it. Swatched it at home and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a beautiful, cool pink. And I put it on and then I thin it out and then I see all the shimmer and glitter. I put it on the girl's cheeks because I thought, you know, they might have some fun with this and I will probably give this to them just so they can play it around and wear it for fun. But you can really see just glitter in it, okay? Not a huge blushy color payoff, but you will see that glitter going on. So I'm not a fan of it. I won't be wearing it. They definitely had a good thing going and then it's like, boop, ah, not for me. If you like glitter and you like a really sheer amount of color that that glitter is mixed in with, maybe this is your thing. But the color called Pop Star is the one I would steer clear of. Here's another thing. This Power Lash Volume from Relove. This started out pretty good for me. Um, I've been kind of impressed with a couple different mascaras I've used from this brand. I still really like the long lash lengthening. However, this one, we have a problem and I'm going to have to throw it away because I can't handle it. Um, so you take your brush out 
out and you get all this um, excess product collecting up around here and then you put it in and can you see what's happening it's collecting up around the top you mush it down and you're getting product collecting around the top and guess what it started doing mushing out after multiple times using this and then twisting it down it will start mushing out guess where here and then guess what that's gonna do that's gonna go hang out with all the other mascaras in my little mascara drawer and it's gonna get on them and then it's gonna get on my hands mascara should not exit the tube in any manner other than off the brush am I right so we can't be having this and it happens every time it gets mushy and then it starts to squish out and I don't care how good it looks on my eyes this isn't like a top five drugstore mascara but it did decent for me but I can't handle this stuff now we got dry bits trying trying to like exit the situation here. This is gonna go in the trash right away. They gotta figure out that tube. Next thing, a couple things you need to know about. I feel like you need to know, and if you didn't watch the Neutrogena video, I think you should watch the Neutrogena video, but I'm gonna tell you here what the couple duds were that you need to watch out for because it's just, it, this is need to know information. The Sensitive Skin Eyeshadow Plus Primer um, from the Healthy Skin line, it has Pro Vitamin B5, looks like this. Shade is Soft Pearl. You put it on and you're thinking, ooh, this pretty kind of pearly wash of color. This is gonna be nice for every day. I can just throw on mascara and I have an easy eye look. And you almost feel like it's setting. You almost feel like, okay, I think I'm going to be able to get away with this and only this but no you just live a couple hours of life and that stuff re tackifies itself it gets tacky all over again and it's so annoying because you feel like lid starts sticking to crease when your eyes are open it's sticking in there and then you close them and you're like whoa it's unpleasant I cannot handle it so the day I did that Neutrogena video by afternoon I had to come up here and apply some powder shadow to my lids and crease basically top off this and entire situation with something so I would stop feeling that tackiness and I thought it set okay I thought it was doing what it needed to do early on but it just lived some life and it got tacky all over again I had to save the situation I did I was able to get through it but gosh like just don't waste your time on that also from Neutrogena their brow pen it's a micro brow tint serum pen they call it nourishing brow I have the shade Deep Brown. If you are a brunette, even if you have a fairly thick brow like me and you're thinking, okay, well, I'll get the Deep Brown. That seems like it should work. It's so dark. And while it is a brush tip, it's not able to give you as skinny of lines as your hairs are. The brush strokes I have just made, they look fine, but they're not as fine as hair. So when it's that dark and you're getting a line that's about double to triple the thickness of your actual hair, it really shows and it can't really be blended into the look is the thing. So you make the mark, the mark stays. Your best bet to salvage something if you're not going to like try to take some remover over it would be to maybe go in with some brown powder in a softer lighter shade and see what you can do but it's it's hard it's hard to work with that shade I can't really say what the other I think two colors in the line would be like for other people other hair colors but I felt like this shade should have worked for me and the darkness of my brows and it was just too too much and you throw off your brow you can throw off your entire look so I would not recommend that final thing among the bottom five here this is from Revlon this is not new but it's newer to me it's the photo ready translucent powder. This is a very heavy looking powder on the skin I feel. Um, it really does have a nice smoothness to it and a nice softness but it's almost softer than you need a pressed translucent powder to be because a lot of that is going to apply and transfer down to let's say your under eye area. That's where I'm going to be putting something like this under eye and t-zone and I feel like it really gives a makeup-y thick look to the skin. Even if I try to apply apply it lightly. I'm just not content with the look. Fortunately, I do have some other drugstore recommendations. One is um, Rimmel Stay Matte. Another one that I have here handy is the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade porcelain and then also this hard candy stay and slay translucent powder all of those are a little more sneaky than this stuff this stuff is just not sneaky will it mattify yes but does it look thick in doing so also yes I don't know that a lot of people are clamoring for that it's not really new on the market but I just thought I would give my two cents since I feel like I've 
really been trying a lot of powders like that and there are so many better ones that you can try. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to hear about duds. I will try to keep you more posted on those on a regular basis. I do think the duds come out, like when I'm doing full face videos and it's full face of new drugstore stuff or new Sephora stuff or whatever, like I think by the end of the video when we do our little recaps, generally there's some stuff that's up here and sometimes there's some stuff in the middle and sometimes there's some stuff down here. We always do address that, but really pointing it out really on purpose in a video like this so you can come see and you know you're going to get a bottom five. Let me know if you want more of that. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.